In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to capture an amazing sky in your images or add one in post-processing. As I mentioned before, it's difficult to capture the sky when you're facing toward the sun while still maintaining a good exposure on your subject. But if you turn away from the sun to capture a better exposure of the sky, you'll have your subjects facing the sun, and you'll often get weird shadows and squinting clients. So the best kind of lighting for great skies is ironically a cloudy day. The best moment to capture a sky like this is when the sun has gone behind a cloud so your subject can face the light without getting any harsh shadows on the face, being perfectly lit up by the diffused sunlight so you won't have to overexpose the sky behind him. Cloudy days also make for more interesting skies in your background. Now you obviously can't control the weather when someone books a photo shoot, but you can control the time of day you decide to shoot. So your absolute best time of day for lighting is that golden hour of sunset. It's best to start your shoot about 20 minutes before the sun sets to get that golden light that's being diffused by the atmosphere and is much softer on the face than any other time of day. This way you can face your subjects toward the setting sun and capture the exposure of the sky behind them at the same exposure as your subject. This perfect lighting will continue for about 20 minutes after the sun has set. But then it gets better. The longer you wait after the sun has gone down, the more colors you'll see in the part of the sky where the sun is setting. Now we talked about how difficult it is to actually capture the sunset because your subjects will be dark in order to get the right exposure of the sky. This is perfect for silhouettes, but what if you want your subject lit up too? We have a couple of options. One of the obvious ones is to use flash. In my opinion, if the flash is too obvious, then it's distracting from the picture. So try to use a subtle flash, and with such a dark background you have to be careful about the shadow from your flash, especially on the vertical shots. The other thing about your regular on-camera flash is that, compared to the warm colors of the sunset, it will appear blue tinted, as you can see in the original version of this picture straight out of camera. So what I've done to warm up the color of my flash is use a yellow diffuser. You can use anything from a piece of sheer yellow paper to something like the Gary Fong light sphere with the amber dome on top. But in most of my sunset pictures, the real secret is in the post-processing. I actually create two images from a single raw file and layer them in Photoshop. So stay tuned for part 3 where I show you how to add or enhance a sky in post-processing.